looking at the investigation that you did, uh, if I may use Candice's work to explain to the class, I hope that's okay with you, Candy. Hey, Ele Candy. Okay. So if you look at it, the first one, approximation was good. So looking at this, you could see that this and this are the same. The point here is that when you had logarithm of two different numbers, two different logarithms of two different numbers, okay, is the same as the logarithm of the product of the numbers. That's the point of this investigation, okay? When you do that, and that is what I ask you to do here. So for question one, what is the simplification for log n plus log n? It is log n n. Okay, everyone. Can I get some response? Okay. Oh, so for okay. the second, we want to see what happens because it's easy to say normally if someone asks us what is log twenty minus log four, it's easy to say log sixteen, right? Because we think it's like algebra, collect the like terms. Do you get my point? Oh, collect the like terms. We just subtract. It's easy to be tempted to assume that, but that's not how logarithm works. So that's the purpose of the investigation. If you subtract logarithm of a number minus logarithm of another number, is the same as logarithm of their quotient. Quotient means division. That's the purpose of the second one. And you could see log six minus log two is not log four because this is log four. They're not the same. Rather, it is log three. Log uh, this minus log this is not going to be log nine. Rather, it is going to be log four. And because three divided by five is 0 0.6, it is zero, log 0 0.6 that this is equal to, which is what you were asked to supply in here. And the third one, there are other laws. I just decided to put these three for the investigation. The third one is the logarithm of a number in index form is the same as the power multiplying the logarithm of the number. So for example, log two cube, and three log two are the same. Log five squared and five log two. So it's like the power comes to the back to multiply the log, basically. And that's what you were asked to figure out here. So logarithm of m to power n is now n multiplying log m. Does it make sense, everybody? So thank you yes. for this doing this investigation. Let's begin the logarithm uh, in, a, in a more, you know, let's discuss it better now. So let's try it. So I say laws of logarithm, or should I just say logarithm? Yeah, let's just say logarithm. So oh, I'm going to start with the laws of logarithm now, or properties of logarithm, however you want to call it. No, oh, laws of logarithm, not properties. So we're going to start with the ones that you have already mentioned. Where's Kelly? Is Kelly there? I can't hear you. 
I, I want to get some water. Oh, okay. So the first law we're going to be talking about, so I say law one. We already figured, we did that from the investigation, with that if the log of a M, maybe I use X and Y, or A and B, it doesn't matter anyway. Log A plus log B is equal to log A, B from the investigation, right? Guys, uh, can I ask you this? Which is easier for you? Do I write all the laws, then we apply it one by one? Or we, have, we write few laws, do the uh, applications, which one do you think would be easier for you? I think write all the laws. Laws. New law by law. Then we apply one by one. All right. Okay. okay. Let's do that. So I will change some things the way I've written it on the board. You don't have to change yours. Just wait. So the first one. Logarithm of a plus. Uh, before then, this is how we pronounce this. Sorry, I skipped that part. Log A, uh, this is log A base B. That's how we pronounce it. Okay, this is the base and this is the log of the I should have written that first, but I'll write it maybe after the log. Okay, that's, I don't want to erase too many things and mess up your book. So, log of them of A plus log of them of B to base X. Let's use the base. So base X, what's the purpose of the base? Is to tell you that as long as they have the same base, this will happen. So you cannot do logarithm of this plus logarithm of this. No, you can't have them because they have different bases. Does that make sense? So they must be of the same base. If they are of the same base, it will be logarithm to that common base, then A multiplying B. The second law is similar to the first one. Logarithm of A to base X minus logarithm of B to base X is simply logarithm to that common base A divided by B. The third law I'm going to be writing is logarithm of a number to the same base is always one. If you have your calculator, please Check what is log five base five. Check what is log eight base eight, and so on and so forth. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll check this. Let's just write the laws, like I said. Let's just write the laws. So. log of to base x a to power b from your investigation is b multiplying log so i'm going to remove the time so it doesn't look like x to some of you so that is b log a base x i hope everybody understands this so it's basically looking like this power comes to the back when you are in the process of simplification, okay, <laughs> and multiply the entire term. With this, you can have another law. So look at this, for example, everybody. If I have log 1 base x, do you know I can write it as log x, x to power 0? Does everybody agree with this? Let's look at the board. Yes? And with this, yes. this power can come to the back. Then I'm going to have zero log x base x, which is zero times one, which is equal to zero. So which means logarithm of one to any base is zero. That's the next thing. Logarithm of one to any base x is always zero. What law am I 
makes sense. Okay, if you want to change from a logarithmic to index form. Okay. If log to base x of a is equal to b, then please pay attention, everybody. Pay attention. Surprising, pay attention. We have this is we use this in the equation. I hope everybody's listening. We use this in the equation. So if you have log on one side, it's a different thing when you have log on both sides. If you have this. Because two different numbers cannot have the same log. Please, I need everybody's attention. I need everyone's attention at this time. Two different numbers cannot have the same log. So if you have log A and log B being equal, under the same base x, then A and B must have been the same. Do you understand the idea? So it's like, it makes it look like you cancel the log of the same base. But the idea is not really cancellation. The idea is logical. If you have log of two different numbers and this so-called log are the same, then those two numbers are not different. They must have been the same. So if you have log of m, log of n, and they are said to be equal, then m and n must have been equal all along. Does it make sense? So if you, so basically, if you have log something, log something, you can cancel those equal log, basically. But here, that's not the case. You only have log on one side. So you can't cancel log and say a is equal to b. That doesn't happen. So what we do is we change it to the index form. This is base. It still becomes a base in index. Can you see my arrow? So for A to stand alone, basically. So it's like this. If you have A to power half equals nine, then you are going to end up saying A equals square root of nine, right? Right? Because this goes to the other side to become something else, right? For this to stand alone. So in the same manner, the same way, A can be alone for us to remove this log, and X must have gone over there to be the base of B. Okay? So again, to get rid of this log, we can change it to index form such that A can be alone now, because that's the purpose. We want to get rid of this log so A can be alone. Then X will still serve as log, uh, the base on the other side. X was the base of a log, and now X is the base of an exponent on the other side. Logarithm and indices are opposites. That is why when we learned population growth and decay, if you have 1.1 X is equal to maybe 5,000, we usually take the logarithm. Do you remember this? Do you remember? So this is when you can understand it better, why we do that. Over then, we just apply calculator, really. But this is the reason. So do you remember what we normally do here? What do we normally do in this? Does anyone remember if you are to solve this problem? Was it yes. log 1.1 over log 500? Are you sure? The other way around is actually log 500 over log 1.1. Okay, sorry. Okay. So it's either this logarithm of 500 to base 1.1 or logarithm of 500 divided by log 1.1. The reason why this can also be written as this is one of the laws. We call it change of base. Doesn't make sense. So, but this became this because of this law. Can you see that? So, this is what we used to have. For you to remove this log, 1.1 will become the base of this, and 500 can stand alone. That is this log six, okay? We're gonna take different examples and you will see one by one. I just wanted to explain as we're writing them first, okay? Uh, the seventh one that I'm going to write, so you can write down. The seventh one that I'm gonna write is change of base. So again, this is the only equation. Others are expression. What I mean by expression is if, if I give you log x plus log y, no equals to in the question. 
what would you say this is? That's what every other law is about. This is the only one that we use when the equation becomes tough and you need to apply indices. Or when you have indices equation that you cannot solve directly. Okay? So, uh, if you want to change the base, so if you have this and it becomes difficult for you to work out, or you have this in your workings and your calculator doesn't have that function. You know some calculator have this function, right? But some don't have it. Some just have only log. Okay? So if this is what you are supposed to do, can you do it in form of quotients using your knowledge of laws of logs? That's the purpose of the next law. We call it change of base. Okay, so let's write that quickly. So the seventh law is called change of base. If I have log A to base X, and we wish to change this to logarithm to a different base. Everybody look up. Everybody look up. Log A to base X. This is the base, original base. Now we want the base to be base B, okay? So it's going to be in form of a fraction. That's first step. It's a fraction, logarithm divided by logarithm to the new base. Now you change the base, base B, base B, and you write this the way it is, A at the top, X at the bottom. Can you see that? So that is why in the previous example that we just mentioned, if you have log 500 divided by 1.1, we can change it to logarithm to another base. In this case, this is base 10 because we never, we didn't write anything there. Then 500 will be the numerator, 1.1 will be the denominator. It was a single log and now there are two different logs. So if your calculator doesn't have that functionality like this, your calculator can do logarithm something divided by logarithm something and they mean the same thing. This is the law that's responsible for that. The last but not the least that I'm going to write I like to call it reciprocal of logarithm. What happens to the reciprocal of a log? What do I mean by reciprocal of log? If I have log x base y, no, log a base x again, I'm gonna stick to that. Everybody, please pay attention. Everyone pay attention, please. Look up. If I have log a base x, and I wish to have the base as a, the base as the bigger one, not the smaller one. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see the transformation. I need everyone's attention, please. I need everyone's attention, please. Kelly, can you hear me? Do you speak English? I'm sure you do. So let's say we want to change the base to the number. Now the base is X. Let's say we want to swap. Okay, so we'll come to this guy, plus seven, and ask, I need to change the base. It says change of base, right? It never said change the base to any number that is not here. We have only taken B as the new base. B could have been A, but of course B couldn't have been X. We can't change the base to X again because it's already in X. Am I making sense on that? Okay, so let's say we wish to change the base to A. We apply the same technique. And what do we do first, everybody? Turn on your mind. To change the base, 
What do we do first? Uh, make a fraction. Make a fraction, then? A log, log. on. Log to base what? Uh, is it log the base as A? Yeah, to the new base. Log to the new base. Log to the new base. The base in question. The base you want to change it to. Then at the top is this number what? What do we have at the top now? A. 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 Yeah. And X. X. So now, what does this numerator look like? What's this? One. From which law is that? Three. Three from here. So this is one. And we don't have any information about this at this time. So what do you notice? Log x, log a to base x is actually the reciprocal of log x to base a. You know what reciprocal mean? Yes. So re reciprocal is when you flip it. Reciprocal of x over y is just y over x, right? So the reciprocal will change the, you know, we swap this. Hmm? We swap this. So if you are looking for the reciprocal of a log, it just changes, basically. That's the point we are trying to make here. Does this make sense, everyone? Yes. Uh -huh. So this is the last law that I wish to mention to us. So this is the law. This is the main one, the last one. OK. That's the last one. Think. Can anybody? Uh, you have a calculator, yes? I'll add one more. You have a calculator with you now? Yeah. Please try this. Try the following. This is power, all right? This power is on five. This is a power on five. What do you get for the first one? Eight. Eight. Again? Eight. Check the second. Three. Three. So what do you notice? That if you have this, if this base of the power is the same as the base of the log on its index, it's like they cancel out and this eight can be on its own, basically. Let's see why that is the case. Write the law first, then we can show ourselves why that is the case. So a to power log base a x will give what everybody? X x. That's what we're talking about. We give x. Are we all ready? I want to move to the next page. 
Is anyone still writing? I'm still writing. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Okay. So I'm just trying to, I'll just show you quickly the last one. Now, if I wish to know if we wish to find the value of a log to base a x. Okay, we wish to find the value of this. We don't know what it is. Please, everybody, pay attention. So we start with say let let the results be y. Let the result be y. What does it mean? That is a log a x. The value will become y eventually. Okay. Now, let's come to this law. Are you paying attention, please? Remember this law, uh, law, where is it? This, where is it? This one, six. Can you see? Let's come to that law. So you have, what you have currently is a power. What you have currently is the power. What do I mean? A log A x equals y is looking like A to power m equals y. Do you agree? And according yeah. to this, this must have been the base of a log when y had a log. Right? So it must have come from log redeem to base A of y equals m according to this law six can you see that this base here was the base of the log when this guy that was standing alone was in the log and this dude was just standing alone before x comes to lift it up can you see that so that's exactly what you have here so if you have this if you have this i mean this must have been the base of the log of y. Please say something if you understand or not. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So now I'm going to pretend this is m. So my m is going to stand alone. Can you see? And my a will be the base of the log of y. You agree? Now, what did I say when the, if you have log of x and log of y to the same base, what can you say about x and y? They are equal to y. This must be equal to y. So what does that tell you? The results you are looking for is actually what? x. Can you see that? Remember, you started by saying, oh, I don't know anything about this. I'm going to assume the result is y. Now the result gives you x. And that is what this law is talking about. Okay, so therefore, log, no, 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 not log. Therefore, a to power log of x to base a gives back x. Remember, we started by saying let it be y. We don't know what it is. And now we just figure out that y and x are the same. So this is what we are trying to show. Mr. Daniel, yes. can we just use like law, uh, law 9 to solve this question? Then? Law 9. Law 9. Yeah. What is law 9? Yeah, we are actually trying to show why or how oh, okay. is. So that's, we are not solving a question. We are trying to prove why law nine is what it is. I'm trying to justify it. Do you understand? Yeah. 
just like we did this. Uh, for example, in this case, we just wrote this. If I had written this is equal to this, you will have to memorize or something. But I'm trying to show you why by showing these steps. But you don't have, you are not showing anything. You are just going to remember what happens. I'm just trying to show you why it is happening like that. Okay. So this is still law nine. Does that make sense? That's what this is about. So what we're going to do with these nine laws is to take some examples. So we start by combining the first three laws. In fact, law one, law two, law three, and law five can be easily applied. Let's quickly do that before we go today. So, um, Something that I said I missed at the beginning. Uh, I should have written that at the beginning. I was I got carried away with your investigation. Sorry. The logarithm. Can only be on a positive number. There's no logarithm of a negative number. The logarithm of maybe A, which is greater than zero. To base B greater than zero is written as this. log A to base B. So this is the number and this is the base. This is the base of the log, okay? Written as this. Uh, if B is 10, we don't have to show it. You don't have to write it. That is, instead of saying log A to base 10, you can simply just say log A. Does that make sense? You can simply say log A. Another important information is that if B is exponent, You have seen this on your calculator. If B is exponent, we may write log as ln, small letter L and N. That is logarithm of A to base E is just lean A. I just pronounce it as lean A. Okay, so this simply means this, logarithm to base E. So if, if the base is E, instead of log, you might see this. Please look at the calculator and tell me if you can see this. Can you see it? Yeah, so this is called natural logarithm. We will see how and why we can use this, so don't worry about it yet. I'll remind you again when we get to that point. So these are two important points that you should take note of. That your A and B has to be positive. The power can be anything. The power X can be negative, can be a fraction, nobody cares. But your base, nobody has ever said anything. In fact, your B should be greater than one. 
we don't normally talk about uh, B uh, as one, okay? But if you, you, even if your B is, there is just zero points, it works, especially when you are dealing with some real life application. So let's leave it as B greater than zero as long as it's not negative. Am I making sense, please? And I move to the next page. May I? Uh, what is the E? E is exponential. Uh, exponential function. For okay. Example, for example, uh, someone made a model. Someone made a model of. Uh -oh. Some made a model of the rates of infection of this uh, COVID-19 and wrote something like a to power x. This is exponential function. So you see a graph that looks like this. Okay, so within a short period, this can go very high. So this is the number, this is time. So within maybe from one time to another, it's still going like this. Then at the time it becomes more rapid and it's going up. So this is an exponential <coughs> function. So it looks like this. So your exponential can be e as well, e to power x. Okay. If you check your calculator, e is a constant. Can you check your calculator, everybody? If you can see this. Thank you for mine. Did you guys see e on your calculator? class yeah so we will discuss what this uh, uh that's e just like pi is a constant okay e is also a constant okay i is a constant as well we know pi 3 point whatever i think e is 2 point something i is just square root of negative one these are constants in mathematics okay so if e is the situation in log if E is a situation in log, you don't write, you don't need to write, you can write log to base E, of course. You don't need to write uh, log to base E, you just write lean A. That's how we write natural log with it. Okay? So, uh, because of the time, you have a class next, right? Yeah, we have English next. Okay. So, what I would do is, I will put some question that you can make use of the first two uh, or maybe the first two, the second law, just look at all the laws and see which law you can use. I will try not to put all the laws in one question. I will put maybe just three or four laws in few questions, then you can submit uh, when next we meet on Wednesday. There's a problem with our timetable this week, so we might have to discuss that in our WeChat group, so I do not delay you. When is your next English class? Is it 12? Yes. Then you better be going. Uh, we will talk about this when when uh, we meet on the when when is your last class for the day? I think it's only after English and then we don't oh. have class. So when I'm done with my IB class, we can talk on the group because there's a problem with the timetable for this week. Somebody had booked my space. I think it's computer science, and we tried to find a way to move around it, and it's not working. So we might need to. Uh, find a time outside the normal schedule. You might need to meet on Friday as well. Okay? Okay, I'll see you quickly before you get too late to your class. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Thank you. Bye-bye. You can see you're still writing. I'll send these pictures.